Hi guys, Nick from Hi-Fi Collective here. Um, today we're going to be doing a Glasshouse Kit 14 modification. If you want to look at the original video for that, please click the banner here. Um, so we have a customer from Martinique who is very keen to use the silver gold wire from Mundorf. This is three strands of silver gold wire instead of the Amtrans triple that we used in the kit. So effectively it's a one meter pair. So this is two meters here. I'm gonna cut it in half, take off the PTFE. Like that, just need to expose a little bit at the end. This one is a screened version. We do do one that's just not screened. But you would generally have to use a screen if it's kind of a high sensitive signal or there's a lot of kind of RF going on in your system. So they're prepped. Just gonna get rid of the plugs. So these come in a nice tin box, clearly marked red, blue. And you push it through like that. There's three signal pins on the XLR. One, two, and three, hot, cold, and earth. This is your screen, so that's all we'll be wearing the B-tube to there. So in this case, very simple, just wire these three. We'll have to use a multimeter at the other end to see which, 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 which one's which. So using my trusty Mundorf 3.8% silver gold solder, so you can see I've got about seven mil exposed. I'll just fold it in half, just to give, it, give it more contact with the solder. Fold it in half. Tin up. Like that. One, two, three, four elephant. Done. But the first end, obviously it doesn't matter which way you wire it, but the other end absolutely does. One, two, three. One, two, three, four elephant. Boom. Use the B tube. Cut it in half. Use scissors with this <coughs> to make sure it's, the strands are cut. You can see there's a tag you need to solder it to, that's your screen. So you can imagine it's pretty tricky to gather that all up and then to try and solder it to there without touching any other, other ends. So I've got some wire here. This is just half mil silver wire. Okay, so but you don't need to go over the top with silver wire, you can just use copper, that's fine. Make a little loop around there. Yep, get it pretty tight. And just solder it in. Just touch it. The plastic form will melt if you heat it too much. So I'm just going to go around. Make sure it's all kind of soldered up. <coughs> Put some 0.5 mil BTF sleeving on the end. Pen the wire across. And then you want to get rid of all these kind of fray bits. You don't want them touching anything. So that's all prepared for later. That's a three mil. Sorry, this isn't BTF, this is ABS. And it's the 12 mil version. Just going to put some black tape around. Because you kind of need to prepare this before you even solder it out, thread it through. Okay. 
Cool. So you can see that you need probably about two, two and a half centimeters of bare silver gold wire at the end. So obviously there's none there. So you cut it down so you can see some. So that is right to it. And I'm going to pull the wire out by a similar amount. Say about that. Yep. About there. I'm going to cut it down some more. There. So you can see there that the wire is just at the edge. Pull it out again. And I'm going to do exactly what I did there to this end. So I've done the other end now and we have kind of a prepared B tube 3.5 with the screens having a contact point there and there. So next point is to put this on. So I've got the wire there, I'm just going to fold it there because it will snag otherwise. Pop it through, goes through nice and easy. Expandable. This ABS stuff is great at RF, um, keeping getting keeping that low. So there, so it's like at the other end. Yeah. So then we're going to get some heat heat shrink. This is the 12.7. We're just going to use black at all ends. So you got. That much, just to keep it equal. That much. That much. And that much. And to the other end. So I like to mark one end because once you start using it, a cable, it will sound better if it's left in that same configuration. So I will gonna get I'm gonna get a bit of blue um, heat shrink, put it up, pop it on one end. But the wire's not directional, it's only directional once you start using it. So bear with. So this is 12.7 blue. Just a couple of pieces. Let's go. I'm now gonna thread this through. Before I do so, I'm gonna expose the wires on this end. So we have prepared the B tube. It's lined with his ABS and terminated with heat shrink 12.7. Um, we're gonna be fitting, you've got to fit these bits first before you start um, putting the plugs together again because obviously they won't do. So obviously one end, you've got the female, one end, you've got the male. This one's gonna be the female end. This one's gonna be the male end. So I've put, put one of the the shells on, I'm gonna put the other one on here. It is tight, just give it a slow twist and it will come on. There we go. Pop it through. Keep this wire straight. Keep this straight as well. Just helps to push it through. this. That's the screen bit there being connected. 
the other end, you've got your exposed bit there, which is great. So at the other end, separate out the wires like so. Fold them in half. Give it in. Right, need to on resistance setting. So that's one there. So pop that there. Number one. And we've got to find out which one here is number one. No. No. Yes. So that's number one. Put those two together. One, two, three, four. And that's two. They have got holes in here, so you could loop the wire through. Interestingly, they only have it on this end, not the other end. And then that leaves the other one, pin three. I'll just check it anyway. Three is there. Pin three is there. Brilliant. Super. And that just leaves the, um, shielded bit to be soldered on. There you go. So part of the assembly of these, we have to use these. Um, strain reliefs. Uh, you will have to cut them down though, but you cut them down at this end. So fit it, just opening it up, opens up like that, put your finger in it, like that. And then you want it so it's touching there, like so. So the the force of this screwing down pushes the strain relief so that that is solid in place. You can't, because obviously when you push it in, you don't want these things pushing down. So you screw it as tight as you can. Like so. Fat, that's fine. That's enough. So that doesn't need changing really. So there you go. That's that done. I've done the other side. That's all good. That's done. You can do a check now. So it's marked here, one, two, three. So put it in three, so I know that's the middle one. Action, no action, no action, great. Two, action, no action, no action. And that's one, action. And then you've got your screen. Which is there. Brilliant. It's all done. There you go. So I'll just do the same thing for the other, and we're we're away. Um, Obviously, you don't really need to put this on because you've got, <laughs> you've got female at one end, male at the other end, so it's always going to go one way or the other. But I think it looks pretty, so I'll just leave it on. Just before I sign off, I want to say a big thank you for watching our videos. Like and subscribe, and follow us on all the social network platforms. See you later.